Hello Capricorn and welcome to your August 2022 reading. It's good to be back with you. I missed you and I'm so glad to be uh, returning and delivering Spirit's messages for you. I was kind of guided back to YouTube now that my project has launched. So here I am. The flavor of my readings going forward will vary. Um, just to let you know, I, I may have zodiac based readings, maybe more general. I'm going to delve into just pure channeling, which will be really interesting. Um, but for now and for August, we'll begin with zodiac readings. So let's get straight into your reading with what uh, vision and messages came through for you from spirit. Uh, Capricorn, I heard it's not all that. And it feels as though whatever you are evaluating or someone in your life is evaluating, really it, it's sort of a all that glitters is not gold kind of an energy. Um, I heard um, someone is evaluating a connection that has been sucking them dry. And the visual I saw was someone in a boat in a lake and the lake dried up. They're sitting on the bottom surrounded by rocks with a big frown on their face like, I can't move. The water, you know, water, water maybe being emotion, but also, you know, this, this whole sucked dry sort of uh, energy around this. It feels like someone's completely depleted. So Let's get into it. Let's find out what this message is all about. Again, reverse the energies if this is um, someone you're connected to. What do you have for Capricorn Spirit, August 2022, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What needs to come through regarding this energy? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> making up its mind, isn't it? Anything else? I just, I just got something intuitively. Um, we have a divine masculine energy here and I heard that this, this is happening in the divine masculine's life. He's had it. That's what I heard. Bottom of the deck channeling. Mm. Some of you may be uh, gifted. You may connect to spirit. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Divine masculine, perhaps in a soul connection. Detachment. This is really about subtracting your ego or your agenda from the goal. This is like let go, let God. We have disconnecting. Dark night of the soul, fear, wow. Where do I go from here? I can't move my boat, there's no water. This connection has, you know, been what it is. I, you know, no, no shade, but it feels like something, something's done, something is over, and this separation perhaps has thrown perhaps this divine masculine into an awakening and it feels uncomfortable. I'm, I'm, almost, I'm getting someone with really heavy boots, almost like, like the, like just giant boots, very heavy boots. And, and the, the visual is really about someone being, you know, planted on terra firma. Like I, I need my stability. Don't rock my boat. Um, this has jacked up my life and now I need to do something about it. But it's like, whoa, <laughs> I think the whole scenario has just kind of thrown someone into, um, an awakening or perhaps, you know, some, some sort of spiritual awareness, let's say. Oh my goodness, this is going to get interesting. So let's find out what energy surrounds this situation, Capricorn. I'm hearing, I can't go any further. I can't go any further. Okay, wow. Tell us more, Spirit. What is the energy around this situation? Eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. What else? 
the Divine Feminine. Interesting. We have a pair. Jeweled Web Connectivity. Hmm. Why does that feel sticky to me? Feast of Plenty, Choices and Their Consequences. Wow. Jeweled Web, All That Glitters. Something, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. I got caught up in something that looked really lovely and it turned out to be my worst friggin' nightmare. I mean, wow, guys. Oh my gosh, it feels heavy. Okay, we're gonna dive right in. Capricorn, um, who are you connected to? I mean, clearly, you know, we have a, we have divine feminine and masculine energy. For some reason, I feel like this is his situation or the masculine, rather, the masculine's situation. What happened? What happened? And what is the dynamic between these two people? Reflect. We attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? I think Sag got this. Okay, distance. There's too much distance to maintain this connection. So there could be distance between two people. I can't determine yet if this is between a divine masculine and feminine or if there is a third energy. We have heart chakra. Awaken your heart center and let love in. Lessons of Jupiter. Align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expansion and new beginnings. Letting go, change, time to move forward, risks and opportunities. And I almost feel like, you know, the risk is avoiding getting caught in some kind of trap that somebody was in before. Very interesting. Okay, let's get a little backstory. What's happened here? What has led up to this time, Spirit? What has led up to this? Anything else? What has led up to this? Okay. Bottom of the deck, self-worth. Putting me first. That's a healthy me first energy. Let's see what we've got here. Conclusion, surrender, balancing the scales, tribe, wow, divine timing, fresh start, offer. Hmm. If you're connected to, uh, I'm not sure if it was Scorpio or Libra, mm, there's some similar cards here. It feels like there's a bit of a theme going on for August, but something has you know kind of come to a head i feel like this could have something to do with uh, family or close alliances it, it's almost as if um there was there was something that maybe took priority over something else and i'm, I'm saying that very generally because i feel like there was something that uh, was chosen that was not all that and it could be that that choice is now blowing up in someone's face and they're having to totally disconnect from whatever it is and find that centered, balanced place, right? Rising above the fray, balancing the scales. It's almost like, um, you know, I, I give up. I, I don't know what else to do. But something's come to an end and it, it could be a family situation. It could even be a divorce. It could be a work situation. It could be something that has taken so long to unravel because it got complicated. It's almost like, well, it looked good on the surface. I didn't realize I was going to get myself into this. And yes, I'm being vague for a reason, because this could be so many different things. You know, if, if you are the feminine, you might feel like, what the heck? <laughs> you know, what is this? I, I don't want to go any further than this. I can't paddle this boat in the dirt. If this is about 
I picked up earlier that I feel like all of this energy is on this side of the camp. And if someone is realizing I've been going down a path that is just not panning out, it again, sucking me dry. And it could be a connection. Um, it, it could be a family member. It could be a boss. You know, it could be someone whose business has been completely jacked because of someone's actions. It could be a lot of things. So again, I'm keeping it rather general, but now it's about how do I undo this? And in the meantime, there could have been some things said or done between the two of you that, um, you know, maybe you're like, wow, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to help you with this. Okay, let's find out. Capricorn, what is your person going through right now? What are they deciding? What are they involved in? What is the most important thing in their life right now, good or bad? What's going on with your person, Capricorn? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least the storm brings water, right? <laughs> Maybe your boat can float off. Oh, God. Storm warning. Journey, door to value. I feel as though this is maybe metaphorical. This journey feels to me like a, a, a really powerful lesson. Something had to blow up first. If this is about someone's money, if this is about, um, you know, something that they got tangled up with, I'm going to say, with this web, and they realized, gosh, this was just a waste of my time. It's about to blow up. Let's look at this storm warning different card deck. Storm warning, please. <laughs> it went in the trash. This is going to be good. Let's see what it was. Oh, God. All right, we have victim mentality and family. We do have tribe uh, on the table, and that can be looked at as your family. Whatever is happening it feels as though it either goes way back or there was some sort of sacrifice for family. And that felt like a theme a little bit with, um, boy, was it Scorpio or Sag? I won't try to recall. I, I channel guys, so it's in and it's out. I don't remember it. But with this is coming this sort of, all right, now what? What do I do with this? I feel a little bit committed, maybe obligated because it's about family. I, you know, like, what do I do? What do I do? Let's see what happens next. Let's look at the tarot. How will this unfold for Capricorn spirit? How will this storm unfold? What happens next? What happens next? What does Capricorn need to see, please? Okay, well, we'll look at the one card. The Ten of Swords. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. The end of a, an addiction, a melodramatic reaction. Oh boy, let's get more because I know there's more to this. I felt like that was the most powerful energy though. It's almost over. It's almost over. You know, surrender. I uncle, like uncle, I give up. What else? Four of Cups. I'm just really zoning in on discontentment. The cups are empty and whatever they were supposed to be filled with I don't know if it was a false promise or if it was a web of lies or BS we have the three of swords sadness that will heal in time personal growth that comes from challenges healing misunderstandings oh my gosh guys anything else strength, personal power. 
I do feel like this is about overcoming. There's going to be peace after the storm. Page of Swords. There's going to be some messages. They might be a little uncomfortable to deliver or to hear. I want to get some advice for you. What should Capricorn do in this situation? What should Capricorn do? Which one? Okay, that one. Let's look at these. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. It could be that, that there is a reconciliation, maybe an apology. A little bit of defensiveness showing up on the bottom of the deck, maybe some anger. But I feel like ultimately there is clarity around what has happened. It might bring closure. It might bring closure with this world energy. It's come to an end, right? Conclusion has been reached. I want to see, uh, I want to get a clarifier on this Queen of Swords because I feel like this is about seeing something super clearly, but it's also about um, kind of a no BS approach to voicing your opinion. Wow. Ten of Cups. Okay the Eight of Cups and the Five of Wands. It's almost as if it's, it's like, I don't know why I got this. This could be a work situation even for some of you. I heard um, heads are gonna roll. And, and really that's just indicative of um, somebody's gonna come down hard on a situation. But, but this conflict allows someone to move forward. So maybe what you need to do is, is just Maybe you need word that it's done, it's over. Maybe someone apologizes to you. There could be a, a lot of people involved in whatever's going on here. Maybe that's something you learn or something you need to kind of clear away. Or they do, if this is vice versa. We have the Ten of Cups king of cups lovers at the oh my gosh and the two of cups is someone making their way toward love and they had to clear out this other really challenging energy um i want to look at your connection capricorn i want to look at it in in more detail what does spirit want you to know about the person you're connected to? Future energy around your connection. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let your friends help you. All right, there is an energy of other people. Now, in this particular case, you might need to either bail someone out or be there for someone who's really, you know, been through it. This is someone who may need you because they've been through it. Um, let's get one more. It feels like maybe you're putting you first rather than getting tangled up in someone else's mess. Chemistry. Passion. Jeez Louise, what a twist. Okay, so it feels it feels like the first part of the, the reading, all of this challenging energy, this, you know, this ten of swords, um, victim, this tangled mess and consequences. This is your person. I feel like they need a shoulder. I feel like they need a kind heart. Someone to kind of um, you know, smooth things over. Let's Let's see how spirit wants you to show up in this connection. What is it Capricorn can or should do? Wow. Wisdom. Remember your higher self seeks to serve as your counsel. You've either been through it yourself, you've had some past stuff that you've risen above some of this craziness, right? rising above the fray, and you can offer this person some counsel. If this is you, 
um, you now realize I'm, I'm out. Like, it's not all that. Anything else? Questioning. Your intuition is telling you something and impasse. When you've done all that you can and cannot progress, let go and spirit will take over. Yeah, this is, um, this is a bit of a challenge. Stretching, challenge and adversity are the best way to learn. Through struggle, there is growth. You know, we all take away some pearls of wisdom from the relationships we're in. This one feels like somebody really had to see that, um, you know, all that glitters is not gold in order to um, recognize an unhealthy, you know, pattern or dynamic that really had to go. I feel like they, they kind of went down a, a rabbit hole a little bit and it was hard to get out. I mean, this, this jeweled web is sticky. It's sticky. And there could have been a lot of people sucking them in or whatever, but understand, you know, Capricorn, if this is someone you're connected to, you can't help them. Ba just back away, pray for them, love them, forgive them if needed, and just let them deal with this because they're, this is in the hands of the divine, I feel. It's big. But, you know, if, if what you need to know is that your person will be returning, perhaps with an apology, maybe saying, hey, could we get together? Could we talk? Um, you're going to need clarity that all the drama's done because you don't want drama. But I feel like I, I, I feel like there's also some guidance here. Let's get some advice for you. They've got to find their way through it. Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Question their intentions. If you are the one in these sticky connections or this sticky situation, you're starting, <laughs> look at that questioning, you're starting to realize that what you're connected to is, is not where you want to be. And you're like, I, yeah, I can't do this. Anything else? On the floor, one moment. It was all part of a bigger plan that perhaps moves someone into a new cycle. Destiny is, is really about fate. Conflict resolved. Anything else? Okay, <laughs> I'm being told, move to this deck. Okay, we're gonna finish up with messages from spirit. Advice for Capricorn. Spirit is ready to offer you guidance. All it requires is an open mind and a request for assistance. They will have your back. This situation is fraught with deception. What you've been through can only make you stronger. The worst is over. So almost there, almost there. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. I'm sorry that was a tough reading. They've been a little tough. What an initiation welcoming me back to YouTube, huh? I'm sorry, but somebody needed to hear it. It's almost over. This too shall pass, right? Okay, thank you so much. See you in September.